have developed over the years. The percentage of patients with complete paralysis arriving at spinal cord injury centers has decreased by more than a third. New drug therapies offer increased hope for recovery, but how skillfully patients are cared for on the scene remains the critical factor in lessening secondary cord injuries. In our commitment to helping save lives by providing you with the high quality products, services, and system solutions that fulfill genuine user needs, Lairdall Medical Corporation presents the Stiff Neck Select Adjustable Extrication Collar. The Stiff Neck Select Collar has the same enlarged tracheal openings, the same circumferential adjustability, the same fine engineering and highest quality assurance you've come to expect from all Lairdall Stiff Neck Extrication Collars. But with one very significant difference, every Stiff Neck Select Collar adjusts to fit all adult patients because every Stiff Neck Select is a Stiff Neck Tall, Regular, Short, and No Neck all in one. It's the adjustable collar that's really four collars in one. Now it's easy for you to select the right size collar because you've always got the right size in your hand. For approved protocol, proper sizing is crucial for good patient care. Adjusting the collar too short may not provide enough support, while adjusting too tall may hyperextend. With the patient held in a neutral position, use your fingers to measure the distance from the top of the shoulders where the collar will sit to the bottom of the chin. This is the patient's key dimension. Use your fingers to apply the key dimension to the collar. Align your fingers with the edge of the plastic neckband, not the foam. Select the size window closest to your top finger, in this case the regular size. Adjust the chin support to the selected size. Be sure that the size indicators on both sides of the trachea opening are at the same setting. Once you've correctly selected and adjusted to the correct size, lock both sides by pressing the two lock tabs. The tab will snap into place and will be flush with collar when locked. Please note, the collar is packaged in the no-neck position. However, applying this size to all patients is inappropriate and should be avoided. Always size and adjust prior to application. To assist in proper sizing and adjusting, instructions are molded into every stiff neck select collar. Before applying the collar, Hold and flex sharply inward as shown. This will preform the collar to ease application. Application is simple if you slide the preformed stiff neck select collar up the chest wall until the chin is well supported. Application is completed by positioning the back panel behind the neck and tightening the Velcro loop. While doing this, hold the collar in the corner of the trachea hole. This prevents any possibility of rotation during tightening of the collar. When properly sized and applied, the neutral position is not altered. Remember, proper sizing of the collar and positioning of the chin piece is the most important part of putting on the stiff neck collar. Too tall a collar can cause hyperextension and possible injury. Too short a collar will provide only a limited amount of immobilization and can act as a constrictive band. Difficulty in positioning the chin support may indicate the need to adjust the collar to the next smaller size. Do not adjust the collar while it is on the patient. Remove the collar first, unlock both sides by pushing tabs out from inside of the collar, adjust to the appropriate size, lock both sides, then reapply. If the patient is supine, begin by sliding the back of the collar behind the neck. Note 
that the collar must already be adjusted and locked in the appropriate size and should be preformed. Once the loop strap is visible, focus your attention on positioning the chin support and attaching the strap as described previously. An alternative is to start by positioning the chin support first and then sliding the back of the collar behind the patient's neck. Though each of these patients is of a different physiological stature, each requires their stiff neck select collar be adjusted to the tall size. Optimal patient care calls for rescuers to have available the stiff neck select collar for the four adult sizes and the two stiff neck child size collars, the baby no neck and the pediatric. This following reenactment of an accident scene summarizes the use of the select collar and its role in a spinal motion restriction protocol. To summarize, initial patient assessment focuses on airway, breathing, and circulation. Throughout, a high index of suspicion regarding the possibility of spinal injury must be maintained. Determine transport priorities. Define and maintain neutral position. Measure collar using the key dimension. For proper support, loosen or cut away clothing so the stiff neck select adjustable collar makes direct contact with the patient. In extreme cold, it may be appropriate to size and apply the collar over the patient's clothes. Check the approved protocol in your area. Position the chin piece by sliding the collar up the chest wall. After transferring a patient to a spine board and immobilizing the patient completely, pad as needed to maintain alignment and for comfort. While maintaining manual head immobilization, completely secure the body and head. Remember, no extrication collar should ever be used alone. And even after it has been applied, manual stabilization should be maintained until motion restriction protocol is complete. During transport, continue to reassess the patient. In particular, monitor an immobilized patient for possible vomiting and keep suction ready. Over the years, as pre-hospital equipment and training have evolved, patient care has improved.